Federal Math 186 students. This is an instructor, Mrs. Thomas. And we are going to be on Chapter 6 today. And I always like to do your learning objective so you'll know exactly what you are learning. I think that's so critical and so very, very important to know. Um, we're going to identify volume and weight equivalents for the metric system. I want you to be able to identify linear equivalents for household and metric systems. I want you to be able to convert approximate equivalents between the metric and the household measurement systems. I want you to be able to apply three methods of converting systems, whether it's the conversion factor that we've, um, that I've showed you with moving your decimal back and forth, the ratio and proportion, which is setting it up like a proportion, and dimensional analysis. Um, I want you to be able to convert the centigrade and Fahrenheit temperature systems as well in this particular unit. So let's get started. These are your practice problems. And I am also in the textbook page 102, page 103, as well as 116, which is giving me the commonly used approximate equivalence, uh, which is your metric, metric and household systems of measure. So it is just imperative that you kind of bounce back to see which um, equivalent um, measurements you're looking for. For example, we're doing, let me get my calculator. For the first one. Okay, so number one says two glasses equal how many pints? Okay, well, let me look at the page 116, but I know that a pint is equal to 16 ounces? Yes. Mm -hmm. Because you have a, a glass of water, uh, one, one glass is equal to eight ounces. Um, and so two glasses will be equal to, of course, um, the 16 ounces. So one pint is equivalent to 16 ounces. Okay. And the more you look at the tables, you'll have it memorized where you'll be able to just know it just like this. You'll say, oh, a pint is 16 ounces. Okay. Here, well, Ms. Thomas, how can I relate that to two glasses compared to the pints that I have? Okay. Well, let me give you a visual. Okay. Let me give you a visual on that. So, have a glass of water which is eight ounces, all right? That's just for one glass. If I drink another glass of water, all right, this is my second glass of water, okay? I have, what, 16 ounces. So take a minute and let that sink in. Take a minute and let that sink in. And let that sink in. because naturally two glasses is equivalent to how many ounces? Because if one glass is eight ounces and it's on page 116 of your book, then two glasses will be equivalent to how many? 16. I got two, I have two glasses of water, okay? So that's why I said that one pint is equal to 16 ounces. That's understood. So if I can convert the two glasses into ounces, that will help me solve the problem, okay? One glass of water is about eight ounces. So two glasses of water will give you 16 ounces, okay? From that, where will we go? Okay, so this is 16 ounces. I'm looking for a pint, okay, or pints. I wanna cross multiply, 16 ounces times x, and I'm multiplying these two, I'm looking across, one times 16 is 16 ounces per pint. I want you to isolate the variable, I want x to be all by itself, so I want you to divide both sides by 16 ounces, which will cancel, okay, which will cancel, right? Well, what's 16 divided by 16? 
good is one. So this answer is one. You are absolutely correct if you had said the answer was one pint perfect. Perfect. Okay. Let's try another one. Let's try number two. Number two says two ounces. And of course, you know that is O Z equals how many tablespoons? T B S P. Okay. So I want you to start recognizing when you see ounces. I want you to recognize the abbreviations. Okay. Ounces, O Z, tablespoons, T B S P. So in your book on page 116. I look, also looked at page 103 as well. I kind of bounce back and look and see if I'm on the right track, which, you know, your teacher's always on the right track. Okay. So I'm on page 116 right now, and I noticed that one ounce equals two tablespoons, right here. Right here. One ounce. It's equivalent to two Okay. And remember, we're going to match ounce to ounce. So you're going to put it here. And this is where X would go. I want you to cross multiply. So one ounce times X. Two times two is four ounces times T B S P. Make sure you do all of your units for me, please. Okay, I want X to be an isolated variable, so I'm going to divide both sides by one ounce on both sides. Okay, this will cancel out. Okay. Four divided by one is four tablespoons. So this will not, it will not be possible for you to move. So some units you won't be able to move, like the metric, you could use the conversion here. You will have to use the equivalent, okay? The proportion setup. Okay. The next one. One ounce equals four cups equals how many ounces, all right? So cups, two ounces. So let me get my text, all right? So one cup, equals how many ounces? Okay, on page 116, one cup equals eight ounces. Okay. One cup is equal to eight ounces. Okay. Ms. Thomas, how could I do this? I don't know how to um, determine what one fourth of a cup is. Well, change it into a decimal, okay? Think about it as money. A fourth is what in your calculator? Hit one, the division symbol, and the number four. Okay? So this is the same as 0 0.25. Okay? Because if, I, if Ms. Thomas don't know anything, I know about some money. Okay? All right. So <laughs> um, this is the exact same. Okay? So it's just easier sometimes for students to uh, turn into a decimal. That's why we were doing fraction, decimals, and percents in chapter four. Okay? So this will be. 0 0.25 cups over eight. Okay. I want to cross multiply. Okay. So one cup times eight equals 0 0.25 times eight. Two. I want you to divide both sides by one cup. And two divided by one is two. Two ounces. Two ounces. Okay. All right. And the same will be for number four. If you wanted to practice on number four, three-fourths is the same as 0 0.75. So you will substitute. 0 0.75 here as well. Okay, I think you guys got a good grasp of it. I'm trying to see if I want to show you at least number eight. I haven't seen any one, any of the other ones like number eight. So let's do number eight. 1,500 milliliters equals how many ounces? Okay, let's go to the textbook for number eight. 
okay? So I'm looking from four ounces to milliliters, okay? On page 116, okay? 116, one ounce equals 30 milliliters. Match. They're talking about milliliters, with milliliters is here at the bottom. So match units. So that is 1,500 milliliters. So X will go here. I want you to cross multiply. So that'll be 30 milliliters times X. And 1,500 times 1 is 1,500 milliliters times ounces. Last step, I want you to divide both sides by 30 milliliters. And 1,500 divided by 30 is? Okay, hopefully you have. 50? Good. 50 ounces. Okay. And I want you to practice if you need to on your practice problems. Your homework assignment will come out of your textbook, of course. And that assignment on chapter 6, I will get that written down. But Chapter 6, I always, always will have it written down, but it is going to be page 120 through 121, numbers 1 through 15. Uh, but I will have that written down, and I will upload it as well, so you will have a paper copy of it. Okay, students, have a wonderful day.